table's been uh, in my head for the past three years and the original story of the table is a true story that has uh, come through my family, through my husband's family, uh, who personally fled from Eastern Europe during the Nazi advance. Um, and the story of a table being buried is a true story. So that was initially the inspiration. I've obviously woven it into a very South African context. What is important about the table is that it's about family secrets and that secrets get unveiled as the course gets eaten. Something happened between Flora and Morris. It's when the world of fantasy and reality start to merge. So in the case of some of the, f the characters in the family, they, they dream things and they desire things which nobody sees or knows about, but we are witness to those dreams. And the way one does that is to heighten the style. For example, at one stage when you know, Levi gets onto the table to kiss the girl of his dreams. We see that, but nobody else does. I think it's a wonderful blend of magical realism and uh, realistic uh, playwriting, which is what Craig Higginson has brought to this. He's made an amazing contribution in terms of structure and text. And the signature style in, in the pieces that I make uh, is very much based on what the actors give me. I tend to break down movement into something that's magnified. Every moment counts, every beat, every look is directed. Everything is heightened and important. I work with the world of props. The props and the world of the actor become one syn synergy that is very important. I think my, my props are very carefully chosen and they come from improvisation where I suggest something an actor can use and they go with it or they bring things from home that they feel belongs to their character. In the situation of the table, it's a normal table setting, so we work with a world of cutlery and crockery and food, which in this case is not real food, it's sand and pebbles, stuff you'd use on a construction site. And Coupe did as well, come to think of it, um, a lot of cutlery was involved there. I, I, I'm very interested in the world of, of the home and because we all relate to it and making it far more important than it is every day because I think that's where our tradition is and that's where we do things that we're not even aware of. We talk in different ways. The way we eat, the way we cut something at the table when we're having a fight with something will differ to how we are when we're in love with somebody. So um, heightening the sense of how one uses the prop has always fascinated me. And I think in the case of cutlery and crockery, um, it's, fine, it's found its way into the plays. I like the sounds that they make and what they evoke in people. What audiences can look forward to is identifying a part of themselves in the siblings or the parents or the maid. Um, there's something very special in every single character and their story arc within the play.